Last week I gave you a step-by-step -step guide to find a language learning partner so that you could start to build your confidence to speak Portuguese. Because that's why you're here, right? You want to speak Portuguese, not just recite phrases like the dog is wearing a skirt. In that video, which is going to be linked in the description, go watch that next if you haven't already, I talked about how using Google Translate can be a really, really good safety net when you're starting to ask questions and formulate answers in these conversations. In this video, I'm going to show you a tool that is even better than Google Translate for doing this job. Yep, you heard that right. This is going to be the perfect tool for helping you get yourself organized and prepared and also keep the conversation flowing during your conversations with your language learning partner. So if you're excited to learn this today, give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, I'm so glad you found me. <laughs> My name is Liz and I'm an English expat living in Lisbon teaching Portuguese and I specialize in teaching European Portuguese, even though I've lived in Brazil and studied both forms of the language. I specialize in helping people who are relocating to Portugal get confident and conversational, so if that sounds like you, you are in the right place. Grab a cup of tea and hit the subscribe button to make sure that you never miss one of my weekly episodes. The tricky thing about teaching Portuguese from Portugal is there are much fewer online resources to help us. So that's why I'm suggesting this alternative to Google Translate because Google Translate gives us Brazilian Portuguese as default. So today I want to show you the DeepL Translator. Now this is on the same website as Lingui. So if you go to Lingui.com, you will have seen me talk about Lingui before as a brilliant bilingual dictionary. I mentioned it in my um, free apps video. Um, the DeepL Translator can be found on the same website. Here is Lingui, great for looking up individual words, and here is the translator that we are looking for. Or you can just go to DeepL.com forward slash translator. So as you can see, it works exactly the same as Google Translate does. So I can type something in here and it's going to give me the translation. The difference is that with DeepL, I have Portuguese and Portuguese Brazilian as an option. OK, so that's really handy for us with our European Portuguese. We can click Portuguese there. So I'm just going to type something in. So my name is Liz um, and I live in Lisbon with my dog Sandy. I love him. <laughs> okay, so I've given you that as an example just to show you um, that this really is specific to European Portuguese because we have the word cão here, whereas Google Translate would give you cachorro because that is what the Brazilians call a dog. Um, another one of the major differences between European and Brazilian Portuguese is the position of pronouns. So here, when I say the phrase I love him, Amo o, okay? The fact that we're putting the pronoun at the end is more uh, European Portuguese. Of course, this isn't going to be perfect. It is, um, it's a machine after all, it's not a person, but this is going to get you a long way towards saying what you want to say. So there are also some additional features, for example, the formal versus informal option. So if you want to speak in a more formal tone or if you're doing this for your language learning partner, you'd probably be happy with the um, informal tone. Um, but that is um, an extra paid feature. So once you have got your text um, that you want to say, whether it's your question or a script that you've written about yourself that you want to be able to memorize, of course, you're going to need might need help to do the pronunciation. So that's where Lingui comes in handy again, because remember, you can type in any word here. So if I wanted um, to know how to pronounce Kaum, if I didn't know, um, I can click on this speaker here and it's going to give me the European Portuguese option there so I can copy it. Or what I could do is if I have my uh, text that I um, translated here, no thanks. Um, I can also put that into another tool that I've shown you before called naturalreaders.com. So this is really awesome if you have a text that you have uh, put together. So you might want to copy that, paste it in here, and then this tool is now going to read it back to you and you can choose Portuguese from Portugal up here, which is perfect. Again, here you can control the speed. So if I put it at speed zero, that's going to be the natural pace that somebody would speak. Or I can slow it down if I'm learning and I could do maybe minus one or minus two if I wanted to hear it more slowly. So let's take a listen to this. 
O meu nome é Liz e vivo em Lisboa com o meu cão Sandy. Eu amo. So that was pretty fast. So what I can do is slow it down maybe to minus two and see if I can get it to a slower speed so that I can practice. O meu nome é Liz e vivo em Lisboa com o meu cão Sandy. Eu amo. O meu nome é Liz e vivo em Lisboa com o meu cão Sandy. Eu amo. <laughs> okay. So again, like I say, it's not going to be completely perfect, but if you are studying by yourself, this is going to be a really, really helpful tool to get you most of the way there. Like I said in the last video, it's okay to cheat. Whatever you need to do to get yourself speaking at this point is absolutely fine. Then in the future, when you want to challenge yourself, when you're starting to feel more confident, you can start to use this less and less. Did you find a language learning partner based on my last video? Do you have any tips of how to make it work for everybody else in the community? Let me know in the comments. I love to hear from you and how you are getting on. There you have it, an amazing secret weapon to help you write your own questions, your own answers, and even help you pronounce the text that you put together. You could even use this to write longer scripts about yourself that you can then record, repeat, memorize, so that these answers to everyday things that you want to be able to say about yourself will come more naturally to you in real life. Don't forget, I also put together a list of 20 conversation starters for you to use in your first conversation with a native speaker. The link to download it for free will be in the description. I can I cannot wait to see who is brave enough to give this a go. Let me know how it goes in the comments. Trust me, you know more than you think you do. You just need to start. I am rooting for you. I'll be back next week with more tips and tutorials to power up your Portuguese from Portugal. Make sure you are subscribed and I will see you there next week. Ciao for now.